Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial that looks at the spreadsheet section of the GCSE ICT Unit 2 Control Test. Now what we looked at in the last video was how to create a bar chart like this. Now I only used four of my players from the spreadsheets. As an example, you would need to create the chart using every single player in your spreadsheet. But of course in your version it's not going to be for a sports club is going to be for a charity and you're working out the profit and loss so your graph would be different anyway now what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to show you a slightly easier way of creating the chart last time what we did was we went in individually and added the series labels which was the players name and then they had a corresponding column in the chart this time I'm going to show you a slightly different way so if I go to my spreadsheet what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to from player name I'm going to highlight this column here so that all the player names go into the chart automatically and also the number of goals I'm going to highlight that whole column there including the titles because those will actually form part of the chart itself so what I do first of all is I click and highlight from player name down to the last player name. Then for number of goals I'm going to hold the control key on the keyboard. Now what the control key does on the keyboard is it allows me to select other sections of the spreadsheet independently of this. Because if I wanted to highlight these two columns I could simply drag and select them both and they're both selected. However my if I wanted to get to number of goals I'd have to select everything in between as well so what the control key does is it lets me highlight this section then I hold the control key and then it allows me to select this column and you can see that this column is still selected at the same time so I'm going to go to insert now because I'm going to insert a chart so I'll go over to the column chart again and I'll choose the first choice there so what you'll notice now is that it's already put the number of goals scored as the title of the chart and this time it, we've got a different series label here over in the legend in that what this represents each one of these represents the number of goals scored and obviously this is still fine because the player's name is shown underneath now we could change these about we could change the way that the names are displayed they could be put at an angle but as it is for the time being that's absolutely fine and you can see there if I stretch it out because the names become larger and the font becomes larger it actually needs to put those at an angle so there's only one thing really that's missing from here I've got my chart title and I've got my series labels there to tell me what these columns represent and I've got my names there I do actually need to have axis labels so if you remember what we need to do in this situation is go to double click on the chart so let's say I select deselect away from there if I click on the chart or double click the chart tools options these three tabs should appear and what we're going to do now is change the layout and we're going to add the axis titles so my vertical axis title I'm going to have vert. Oops, I clicked accidentally there. Let's go back. I'm going to have my axis titles, vertical titles, and I'm going to have a vertical title as it was. So I'll select that and change it. And this is again goals scored. And then what I'm going to do is have my axis title my horizontal one that goes along the bottom and this is simply player name and there we are it's as simple as that so it's a really easy way of creating your chart you just simply have to select the information first before you actually put the insert option and column so that's a really nice way and of course then we can double click on this I can go to design move chart and I can call this put it into a new sheet and I will call it goals chart 2 
press OK, and it's going to put it into a separate chart for me. And if I want, which I will do, I'll click and hold on the tab and drag it over so it goes after my first goals chart. So that's an equally good way of actually creating a chart. So what we're going to have a look at now, in my example, I've actually got a pie chart here like this. And this is a lot simpler to do. So what we're going to do, this is for the actual attendance. So if I go into our progress spreadsheet and I go to spreadsheet here, if I select the player names and the games attended, because I want it to show the percentage, well let's say actually what I'll do, click away from there, I will select these and I will go to number of games played. And then if I go to insert and pie chart, what it will do is obviously as you understand with a pie chart, it breaks it up into into the segments of which each player has a piece of the chart. So if I click on pie chart there and select the first option, you can see there that obviously Clive Roberts there, this is how many games he's played out of the whole total, John Phillips there, Owen Evans and so on and so on. So in the same way that we're going to do this now, we don't actually need vertical and axis title, uh, vertical axis titles and horizontal axis titles because this is actually a pie chart. So we know that it's the number of games played, and out of all of the games played, this is how many that each player has played. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to double click so that the chart tools appear, layout and this time I'm going to change the data labels to make it more clear exactly how many games each player has played. So what I can do is I can choose to put these at the center like that. So it uses the information from the spreadsheet that I've already decided to put into the chart and it just says well I'll actually put the specific number inside each segment. I prefer to actually do it this way. You see where it says it the inside end and outside end? What outside end will do is it will put it at the outside of the chart like this. The, or I could do it inside end in which it will put it just inside the chart there. And that's how I would prefer to have my data displayed. So again, double click on it just to make sure that the options come up. And this time it's on the design tab and I'm going to go to move chart and this time I'll call it new sheet and attendance chart and press OK. And there we have my chart.